Hey everybody, it's Bill Johnston and I'm here with Justin Yuen from FMyI and FMyI.com. And uh, Justin, tell us a little bit about your background with sustainable development, please. Sure. My uh, background, I worked at Nike for seven years in Portland, Oregon area and in Europe and over in the Netherlands. And I was involved with a kind of an employee-led green team initiative um, back in 99 to 2001 and really kind of on the leading, that group was on the leading edge of kind of the, the integration and green team movement and I realized that was something I was really interested in doing as a, as a career so I ended up working in corporate responsibility mainly focusing on how to take sustainability and integrate it uh, into the company and from that point got really interested in helping other companies do that and I really realized one of the main ways of doing that is collaboration especially online bringing together all the different parties working on all the initiatives, sharing knowledge, creating a community around that, and tracking the progress. So I founded FMII uh, four and a half years ago um, to do that, to provide sustainable collaboration. And now it's kind of um, also morphed into other areas of general collaboration. What do you think the biggest barriers to change are with um, large enterprises adopting more sustainable practices? Yeah, you know, it's definitely hard to generalize. I think it always comes down to the innate culture and history of organizations, whether it's a social enterprise that you know began with those principles from the founder, to um, you know to a large company that may have uh, begun with more you know purely financial goals. And I would say, um, you know, the main challenge is the culture change aspect. I think what we've seen up to this point is tremendous progress of companies making you know a commitment and saying. Um, you know, let's say we're going to go to LEED certification with our stores or we're going to go with green energy. Um, but I think the, the, the challenge is to then filter that to all the employees. And I think what we're seeing now is a real tipping point. More and more companies are going beyond uh, just the declarations and actually rolling out employee engagement initiatives, getting more employees involved, really making it more of a kind of um, what they're being measured on, you know, making it part of the general business language of what they're expected to accomplish, and they're really trying to push that forward deeper into the organization, which is a challenge. It's you know, it's just like any kind of business innovation initi initiative, um, but it seems like it's gaining some some foothold. What are two to three tips that you would have for companies to basically take it to the next level? Definitely, I, I think first off, uh, you know, it's crucial to have the support of, of senior management and. Uh, it's a challenge to kind of get the time needed for, uh, you know, roll your sleeves up day-to-day -day involvement, but at least the support that what you're, you know, what you're going after is something that's important to the business. And then, of course, you really need to um, have the committed green team members uh, come together and really form a support network um, because it is an uphill battle in a lot of cases. People are really busy in their jobs and they're trying to add it onto their day-to-day uh, and integrate it into their day to day. So it really helps to share knowledge across different departments and also just, you know, to really feel like others are going through the same issues you are and that together you're really making kind of a, a lot of progress. Um, and then of course, the last thing I would say is, you know, everyone talks about measurement and really showing the results and as you go back to senior management who say, well, they're supportive of it, but they want to see the results. And they, but that can include not just the metrics in terms of energy savings or uh, you know, those, those things, but actually the stories. I think a lot of times we find that the stories are really important to kind of show others how, um, how people were able to achieve the innovation, what, what they went through in terms of training or uh, meetings or uh, you know, setting milestones. I think the stories are really, really important in sharing. Um, so capturing that as you're going through this, the busy you know, day to day of the initiative is really important. Very cool. Where can we find you online? Uh, you can go to fmyi.com and I would love to uh, talk with everyone more about these issues. Uh, I think there's really a groundswell of support I'm finding, not, not just, you know, we just talked about within companies, but a lot more folks are working across companies, whether it's informal working groups or uh, groups like the Natural Step Network or the, or the Earth, Northwest Earth Institute. Groups are kind of trying to maximize everyone's knowledge around this and all of our kind of learnings. and. Uh, and leveraging, you know, as well, trying to get them to leverage more of the online way to kind of share share the stories and the best practices. So definitely uh, hit me up with questions and love to continue the discussion. Awesome. Thank you.